What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Polyworld team. Yeah, that's right, Polyworld. My friend Aquamoth made this Polyworld team, and they made it for John Luke VGC, who I'll also link in the description, because they found like a Pokemon card with a cool Polyworld design, and so they wanted to use that as a thumbnail, and so then they needed a Polyworld team, and so anyway, here's Polyworld. Polyworld, maybe not the greatest Pokemon in the world, but it has a lot of cool tools it can use. This one is Swift Swim with Eviolite, so it's quite bulky and quite fast, with just a bunch of support moves. Icy Wind to control speed, Encore in case someone wants to do Protect or lock into a bad move. Hypnosis is actually crazy good, <laughs> because this thing can stick around for so long, and if you could just disrupt with Hypnosis, not much they can do about it. And finally, Helping Hand. Helping Hand does come in handy, but I think I would prefer to have like an attack with Poliwhirl, like Icy Wind just isn't cutting it. Now the rest of this team is absolutely unhinged insane mode, and I am so here for it. We've got sturdy power herb Archaladon, so you can get one electro shot after rain's over or without setting rain at all. And it also has flying Terra Blast and Steel Beam, which is 140 power special, insanely strong, but deals half of your health. So if you live like you can like live a hit on sturdy and then sacrifice your last HP point to just do a huge blast. And then we have Pelipper also unhinged, with Choice Specs, and Ground Terra Blast. Ground works as a good defensive Terra against electric moves, and can also just like blow stuff up, like Golden Goes or Archaladons. I don't know if it actually Oko's Assault Vest Archaladon, but it's pretty good. Then we've got Choice Band Dragapult. This is a little less unhinged, but Choice Band Terra Dragon Outrage is, is still pretty unhinged. And it has Sucker Punch, which I actually like. We are lacking a Ghost move at all, but I think these four moves are a perfectly reasonable set. Probably the most reasonable Pokemon on this whole team. Now we have Overquill with Weakness Policy. Now this is our Haze user, very important against Dondozo. With Swift Swim it can become faster than Dondozo and haze away the boosts. And it has Poison Jab, Throat Chop, not crazy, Protect, not crazy, Terra Grass, not super crazy. Except that, that Terra Grass is to pair with Weakness Policy, so you can U-turn with Pelipper and trigger Weakness Policy on Overquill. Or you could U-turn with Mousehold, or maybe even Dragapult? I think Dragapult's U-turn would do too much damage. So that's not really a combo I'm going to be going for. I'm going to be going mostly for Poliwhirl, but that is an option. And then finally, a Technician Pop Bomb Mousehold. This one doesn't have Follow Me. This one has Encore, just like the Poliwhirl. So this has a lot of options to Encore. People won't see that coming. It's super crazy. But anyways, I'm ready to get playing in this. I'm going to be trying to climb to Master Ball here, so hopefully things go well. And anyways, let's get on with the team. All right, we've got Indeedy Armourouge, Ursa Luna, the regular one. Bax Caliber, Whimsicott, Whimsicott, and King Gambit. A bunch of slow stuff and a Whimsicott. That's suspicious. Uh, I'm gonna do Pelipper Poliwhirl. While they might have Sunny Day on Whimsicott, I don't know. That doesn't seem super likely. I'm most worried about like beat up weakness policy armor rouge or something. But Poliwhirl will be faster than the Whimsicott. I think in that case, do I want my dark type? Maybe. Uh, I want something that can hit Bax Caliber. That would be not Bax Caliber, uh, King Gambit, which would be nothing? Nothing. Okay. I guess that's the Archaladon then. Sturdy will also help if Trick Room goes up, stalling out a turn. And then finally, uh, Sucker Punch on this, not super useful. Having a Dark type may be useful. Having a Follow Me might be useful. Pop Bomb ain't bad against five of them either. So yeah, I think I will bring Mousehold in the back. This team is just so completely unhinged. I don't know if it'll work and get them or if it'll just fall apart in this particular match, because they've got some cheese potential, too. And not a trainer card, though. Mm. Boo. Boo. Okay. Whimsicott and the bear. Versus Poliwhirl. Yeah, Poliwhirl. Get them, Poliwhirl. They could Tailwind, but then Polyroll would still be faster. They don't have their guts activated yet. Do I want to lock into Hurricane? 
and just Icy Wind? That seems fine by me. Hurricane plus Icy Wind. And then if they do protect the bear, I can Encore them next turn. Presumably they're going to want to, like, Tailwind, though. Yeah. I still think Polyroll would be faster than Ursaluna. And this Icy Wind will just break a Sash if they have it on their ones it got. No, it won't, because we're going to miss. We're going to miss Icy Wind on turn one of this match. Oh, good. They weren't Sash anyway. Polyroll. You've got Hypnosis. You can't be missing moves like this. Well, I sure hope Polyworld's faster. And also that they don't send out something that's just going to destroy Polyworld before I can Encore. Who is this? Fax Caliber. Scary. Alright, Polyworld, show me your speed stat. That is a lot faster. Okay, fantastic. Don't really feel a need to swap Pelipper. I think trying to throw a Hurricane into Bax is fine. And I will definitely Encore the bear. Oh, we're also faster than Bax. That's awesome. Yep, you're stuck protecting. And it's just Clay Brush into Pelipper. With a crit. Okay, that's okay. That's not a big deal. And you are stuck protecting. Now I think Bax probably protects and the bear swaps out or something like that. I'm going to bring in our Chalad on here. And I think whatever they swap into won't appreci appreciate an Electro Shot. So I could Electro Shot into the bear slot and just try to Hypnosis their Bax Caliber. Yeah, they definitely swap the bear. Cool. Now if I hit this Hypnosis, that'd be great, but I expect Bax to just protect anyway. <laughs> Hitting King Jamp, it's cool with me. Ooh, they don't protect and we connect Hypnosis. All right, you made up for the Icy Wind miss. That's awesome. All right. Now we gonna be electro shotting. Does the Glaive Rush double damage effect carry over if you're asleep? I assume the sleep turn cancels that out. Good damage, the next one will take them. They could just swap though into their bear. Who is also immune to hypnosis because it is burned. Do I want to Steel Beam their Bax Caliber slot? <laughs> that seems insane. No, I think I will... Oh, what do I want to do? Mostly I want to stall out their Tailwind. This is the last turn of it. I think I will Hypnosis and Electro Shot. Okay, they didn't swap in the bear, so I guess I could have electro-shotted right away. Oh, and they're Terra flying? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Unless you've got, like, Earthquake back caliber. Okay, this Hypnosis we miss. Bax caliber stays asleep. That's good. And whatever the... King Gambit does, I can Encore if I want to. Good damage into Bax Caliber, actually. Ooh, and Flying Terra Flying Terra Blast. Okay. I don't think I'm a fighting type. No. <laughs> Alright. Now the question is, who gets the Electro Shot? I think Bax Caliber goes down to the next one, so I'm going to throw it there. 
and just try to hypnosis the King Gambit again. Alright, they go for Sucker Punch to break our sturdy. We connect this hypnosis though. <laughs> this thing is so crazy. <laughs> That's what, two for three hypnosis? That's pretty good. And yeah, now we get another Electro Shot. This is gonna be pretty close into Bax, but I think it takes it out, because we're at like, what, plus three now? And we also have Power Herb after, so after the rain goes, we can still do one more. Yeah, it does take them out. And since they Sucker Punched, yeah, we're set. We can Electro Shot into that slot freely. And then Mousehold's Pop Bomb can take out the bear. The end. They definitely Earthquake here though, right? So like, we've got we've got our Power Herb still. So we just Terra Flying. Electro Shot the King Gambit. No sense in Encore, no sense in Hypnosis, no sense in Helping Hand, so I guess I Icy win. It'll be awkward, but it's just for a little bit of chip damage onto their bear. So this weird set of stuff is actually working, huh? At least in this match. Okay. There's something here. Yeah, they stay asleep. They had to burn that sleep turn. There's that was their first turn being asleep. This will look a little awkward because I'm triggering their Defiant. Unless they're like Covert Cloak. Yeah, no. But that's okay, because they're gone. Because I have a Power Herb. And then I assume they just Earthquake. That, that makes the most sense with Terra Flying King Gambit, is that something here has Earthquake. And then next turn we can just flying terra blast them. Or pop bomb them if something does go down this turn. Yeah, it's earthquake, okay. Does Poliwhirl take this? No. Okay, Poliwhirl, you did great. <laughs> Ooh boy. Now the question is do I want to click Steel Beam? No, I think Steel Beam can miss. That we could encore them into Earthquake. And then try to fish for Steel Beams. Yeah, I like that. Steel Beam is funny. Keep Earthquaking against my Flying type. I'll hit you eventually. <laughs> right away it is. Alright, GG. <laughs> I love that move. <laughs> so crazy. Alright. Good game. Good job, Poliwhirl. Good job, Archaladon. Mouse was there. Pelipper did something. Go get a trainer card. Alright, we've got, ooh, a Blaziken team with Amoongus, Sableye, Blood Moon Ursaluna, King Gambit, and Rillaboom. They could have Sun on Sableye, I guess. But Pe Specs Pelipper just does so much damage into that whole team. Uh, I guess I'll bring Poliwhirl as well. The big fear about Archaladon is they have one ground type. Um, for Pop Bomb, they've got Speed Boost Blaziken, they've got Sableye, they've got Baby Rocky Helmet on Amoongus, not great. Dragapult, they've got King Gambit, King Gambit, King Gambit, King Gambit. My best answer into King Gambit is just to Electro Shot, so I have to bring our Chaladon. And then finally, is it Puffer Quill, Pop Bomb, Dragapult? Um, Pop Bomb seems like more of a liability. I'm gonna go with Dragapult. None of my last mons deal with King Gambit anyway. So being weak to Sucker Punch isn't that big a deal. I mean, I have my own Sucker Punch too. I can play mind games. Good card. <laughs> the problem is I'm choiced into that, so if I click it, <laughs> I kinda have to commit. 
and it's just Amoongus and the bear. Well then, I'm gonna start with trying to hurricane the bear. No, trying to hurricane the Amoongus? Hurricane Amoongus. Try to Hypnosis the bear. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. I get the Hypnosis turn one. They don't terastalize the Amoongus. Uh, that's the best turn one I could ask for. Let's see speed tiers. Faster than your bear. Okay. Goodbye, Amoongus. You'll probably be to live that when it's not specs. Okay, good start. Good start. And you stay asleep, of course. <laughs> Hypnosis Poliwhirl is scary, man. Alright. King Gambit, fine. I'll start putting Hurricanes over here. And I'll Hypnosis you! They go for Sucker Punch. It does about half. Okay. And we miss our Hypnosis. We can lock you into Sucker Punch, though, if we want. Good damage onto the bear, who stays asleep. But now, I kind of have to swap, don't I? I think I'll swap in Arch. I wish I had like a water move on this Poliwhirl, something to do some damage. I'll try to Hypnosis King Gambit again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna encore them yet. I go for Sucker Punch and it fails, that's great. And we connect the Hypnosis this time, even better. And they stay asleep with Ursa Luna, beautiful. I think I'm going to... I don't want to Terastalize yet, but I'm going to put a Helping Hand Terra Blast into that bear. Get that thing off the field. Like, it's just a normal Terra Blast, but with Helping Hand, I think it should be plenty. They have Vacuum Wave, and they hit Poliwhirl with it for some reason. Okay. You don't want free damage into Archaladon? Okay. And because they Sucker Punched last turn, they have to take this turn asleep. They have not burned a turn while asleep yet. And I should still be able to lock them into Sucker Punch. Not that it gives me much value. Yeah, let's Electro Shot into King Gambit now. And try to Hypnosis Blaze again. I'm just gonna keep throwing hypnosises. But yeah, if this Poliwhirl had like Weather Ball or Hydro Pump or Wave Crash, I don't know what it gets. I think I could, could be doing some damage. I could have hit that Blaziken with a water move just there. That would have been nice. I kind of expected them to protect, honestly. But then I guess I could Encore that, which would be cool. Alright, big damage into King Gambit, please. Thank you. That did nothing. Sword Stance. Okay, that's going to get on court then. And they wake up. And they have Low Kick! And the rain is gone. Okay. I guess I could bring in Dragapult and Encore. I could bring in Pelipper and Encore the Swords Dance. Bring in Pelipper. Encore the Swords Dancing Blaziken. Yeah, I think that's the play. I was also thinking of bringing in Dragapult and Encore the Low Kick. Alright, 
Good, we locked Blaze again. Problem is, now they're gonna start sucker punching. Now I swap into Archaladon. Go for Hypnosis on King Gambit. Man, Poliwhirl really need to carry here. Still wish I had a water move. I've had plenty of opportunity. I missed the Hypnosis. That Blaziken's gonna be a problem someday. <laughs> They only have to sword dance one more time. They're gonna be a max attack. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm gonna electro shot the King Gambit. And hypnosis the blaze again. Oh man, where's my water move? Okay, I connect the Hypnosis, and after they move, too, which is awesome. Great damage, critical hit. Love that. Blaziken's Encore ended, but they're asleep. If I bring in Pelipper, they just Sucker Punch me. If I bring in Dragapult, I can Sucker Punch them. Perfect. Terra Dragon isn't really... I guess I could Terra Dragon Darts here now. They'll probably go for Sucker Punch, but we can definitely take that. Terra Dragon, Dragon Darts. And just keep Blaziken locked into Swords Dance if it ever wakes up. That seems to play. Okay. Hollywood doing so much. I don't think we ever gave King Gambit a boost, so Sucker Punch shouldn't be able to knock us out. Yep. About what I expected. Blaziken is asleep. And I hope you liked Swords Dancing before, because you're going to do it again. And then this should definitely be enough to knock out King Gambit. This wasn't really an offensive tear, it was more defensive, but it helps, so... Nice. Alrighty, yeah, Amoongus Dawn, Baragon, it's just that. Dragon Darts and Poliwhirl. Going absolutely in against this guy. Oh man. Battle's cancelled. Fair enough. GG. Alright, we've got a Don Dozo matchup. Dozo Geary, Talonflame, Glamora, Golden Go, and Palmot. Pretty standard stuff. So we have to position our Haze. It's basically the plan. So we'll set up Rain, put Haze in the back. Who do I want to lead? Because they could lead... Probably Golden Go is who they would lead. Pelipper isn't too bad, except for like Thunderbolt. Um, Arch Pelly ain't bad either. In fact, Arch is pretty good into most of their leads. The only thing it really cares about is Palmot, but we have Sturdy. Bring the Overquill, bring... Poliwhirl? The only question is whether I want to lead Poliwhirl or not. I would like to preserve Terra for the Overquill. 
Basically, I just want to get a knockout as soon as possible, and I think Poliwhirl doesn't do that. So Poliwhirl needs to be in the back. I do think Poliwhirl's useful, though. With Encore and Hypnosis, it can definitely mess up Dondozo. Oh, and they have a trainer card. A decent one. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's mine now. Give me that. Okay, Palmot Golden Go. Not bad. Could be better. I wanted to save Terra for Overquill, uh, but Terra Ground seems tasty right now. Especially like Protect. But I don't know if they make it rain. They wouldn't make it rain in front of Pelipper Arch. They would definitely click Thunderbolt. Yeah, I'm gonna Protect. I'm gonna Terra Ground. And I'm going to Terra Blast their Golden Go. Should I have saved Terra for... Uh, maybe I should have, I don't know. They could also just fake out my Pelipper here. If they fake out Make It Rain, that's crazy. Usually you would expect them to have, like, Specs Thunderbolt. They could even double shock. Okay, they close combat. That's a good start. That could be paired with Make It Rain, though. Shadow Ball into Pelipper. Can we take that? Yes. Perfect. I'll take it. And their Life Orb Gold. Okay, they weren't actually specs. So that's probably why they don't have Thunderbolt. Taking a KO feels great. Get out of here. <laughs> Show me Dozo? Dozo. Okay. I will try to electro shot you, and I will bring in Poliwhirl. I guess I could try to call. Like, I think they're just going to Earthquake here. I think they just do the Dozo Geary and Earthquake. Because I've already burned Terra. Pelipper's in Earthquake range. You haven't Terrastalized yet, so you'll have to show me your Terra. I guess maybe I could have sacrificed Pelipper just to get the Haze in right away. Beating Poliwhirl in is pretty cool. Poliwhirl the Great, that is. Because he's so big. He's not even that big. But he's big. And yeah, you're going to Terra. Grass is the most common. I've seen Steel. Grass. Okay. Now, if you do something that isn't Earthquake, that'd be cool. But no, it is Earthquake. problem with that is I probably have to lose something to get my Overquill in. Because you're just going to Earthquake forever. Would I rather lose Archaladon or Pelipper? Or do I risk it all and just swap in Overquill hard? Overquill might actually take that Earthquake. So yeah, I'm gonna swap in Overquill. And go for a Hypnosis. There's a chance they go for Protect. Just to stall out like rain. There's a chance I hit Hypnosis. And there's also a chance that I live Earthquake. I guess there's also a chance they don't go for Earthquake. We connect the Hypnosis, that's perfect. That's about as good as it gets. Beautiful.
Alright, now I'm happy to click Haze. And who's faster? Poliwhirl is faster. Yeah, so I'm gonna click Haze. Two turns of rain. I think I'll just Icy Wind for now, just for some chip damage. And also in case, that, I don't think they could have been faster. But now they're definitely not faster and we get to Haze. Oh, they're awake. Yikes. But now this earthquake shouldn't even do half. Yeah, we're totally fine. And we get our weakness policy, which you don't really care about. Now it's important to play this slow. Trick them into protecting, maybe. I think I'll just protect and go for a hypnosis first. Because I would like to be as safe as possible when I do hit them with poison move. Okay, yeah, there's a hypnosis. Cool. Now I'm thinking helping hand poison jab. Uh, would that take them completely? I don't know. Probably not. But they got a one turn sleep last time. They can't keep pulling that off. Poison jab. Helping hand. The one unfortunate thing is Poliwhirl's faster, and so it's going to be hard to position something into the Tatsugiri. Guess I could bring in Pelipper, hope they stay asleep. They just wake up on turn one again. Not a fan of these turn one wakes, sir. Alright, I'm gonna protect Overquill. Go for another Hypnosis. If they if I miss and they take out Poliwhirl, and then I guess I get what I wanted. Yeah, I miss the Hypnosis. They go for Order Up into Poliwhirl, knocking it out. That's actually what I wanted, though. Now, Poison Jab should knock you out, and then I get to hit. Uh, which do I want to hit with? 107, 150. Actually, our Chaladon would move before Overquill, so I need to go into Pel Pelipper now. That way I can get a Specs Hurricane into the Tatsugiri. And then I think this game is locked up. Poison Jab. Hurricane. They still don't protect. I didn't have Encore pressure anymore. I don't even know if they had knew I had Encore. And hopefully this Specs Hurricane can do a ton. Nearly knock it out. But not quite. Now, is saving Pelipper or saving our Chaladon to play? Our Chaladon's pretty fast. Probably go for a fake out. So I'm just gonna protect Overquill. Go for Hurricane into Tatsu. But they could easily fake out into the Pelipper. They could be just faster with Tatsugiri and take out Pelipper. There's Scarf and a Dragon Pulse into Overquill. So there's Scarf, and they locked Dragon Pulse. Yeah. 
I've preserved Terra all this time as well. Have, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm crazy. No, I didn't. There's Sash. Something has to attack our Chaladon. If I knock out Tatsugiri and Overquill gets hit by Palmot, I lose. Something's gonna hit Overquill though. So I have to actually rely on them throwing here. I need to poison jab and protect. And I need them to dragon pulse into overquill and close combat the other way. Oh, they're just faster. Why are you, how are you just, how? How slow is this overquill? Okay, GG I guess. And now there's nothing I can do. Quill, are you slow? Very slow. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Oh, I feel like I did most things right, but they just had too much left. GG. All right, we've got ooh, Superior and Malamar, double contrary. Plus they have a Rangaroo, Incineroar, Tyranitar, and Whimsicott. Okay. Probably fake tears, charm stuff from Whimsicott. Orangu probably wants to set Trick Room and then instruct superpowers. The way we get around that is to just do too much damage immediately. They also have a Fake Out. Do we have Ghost Terra on anything? We have Ghost Terra on Mouse Hold. Actually, that's huge. Mouse Hold with Ghost Terra to start pop bombing stuff. I like that. Plus Dragapult, that way they can't Fake Out our lead. The fear then would be the Tyranitar, so if we just like put Poliwhirl in the back plus Pelipper, we're set, right? Tyranitar is the biggest threat. We could Terra Dragon or Dragapult. Yeah, I think this is the way. We could even like U-turn, get rid of the sand. U-turn might just do enough to Tyranitar to put it in Pop Bomb range even. No trainer card, boo. The only problem is I guess we'll probably get intimidated by Incineroar on the mouse hold, so we can't just blow up anything we want. Oh, never mind. They're bringing these two in. Okay. Superior Orangaroo. I will pop bomb the Orangaroo, of course. And then probably go with Dragon Darts? Yeah. I'm happy to lock Dragon Darts. If they protect Superior, they both go into Orangaroo. If they protect Orangaroo, expecting the Pop Bomb, trying to get cheeky there, I get two Darts into Superior, which will do a lot. I guess Superior is pretty fast. It could... I don't know, Glare or something? Okay, they're not protecting anything, they're not Terrastalizing anything. They just Leaf Storm into Mouse, who definitely takes that. They don't have any boosts yet. And then Pop Bomb. One, two, three, four, five, six. No berry. And we stop hitting for some reason. Okay. Okay. <sighs> They don't miss their Leaf Storms, though. Okay. Great. Fun. Fantastic. Love it. At least they didn't get Trick Room up or anything. Dragon Darts should knock them both out. I'm gonna go into Poliwhirl here. Dragon Darts should knock them both out, and in case it's like a roll, I'm gonna Helping Hand. 
just to make sure the Dragon Darts can KO the Superior. And if they swap, then they're going to take even more damage than they expect. <sighs> Leaving the Oranguru on one. Like, seven hits is all I needed. But alright. They could have had anything they wanted. They could have had Trick Room. They could have... I mean, they got what they wanted. They instructed and took out Mouse and got to plus four. But they're still not faster than us, so we're okay. Here's Helping Hand. No Terra. Could be a Protect. Orangaroon Protect. Okay, you're giving me Superior then. Yeah, because we only needed the one. And I just brought in Poliwhirl now, mostly because I didn't want to lock into a move with Pelipper yet. And I can swap my Dragon Darts if I want to. I don't have to. But at any time I could. Who do you got? Who do you got? Who do you got? Could be Malamar coming out, going for a dark move onto Dragapult. Then I would just Terra and try to Hypnosis them. Yeah, it's Malamar. Okay, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll go for a Hypnosis, which does work on Dark Types. And just Terra defensively. Let's throw Terra here. Ghost on Poliwhirl. Hypnosis the Malamar, Terra Dragon, Dragon Darts. That'll take out Oranguru, do some big damage to Malamar. And then if we get the Hypnosis, we don't have to take any damage. But if we don't get it, then our defensive Terra should save us. Though they might just go for a boost with, like, super power into Poliwhirl, which won't really hurt. Now, if they have Fairy Terra at any time, Dragapult gets really sad. Here's our Terra. I got scared for a second. I don't see Malamar going for Fairy Terra, though. That seems like a weird one. Alright, we got the dragon on our head. And no Terra. Perfect. No protect. No nothing. Big damage into Malamar, but Helping Hand would not have secured the KO, so Hypnosis is the right play. Plus they could have been like Sash. Even if Hypnosis misses, it's fine. Probably. Oh yeah, they do just super power boost into Polyworld. Fine. Helping Hand will cancel out that boost, so the next Dragon Darts takes you out. I love it. And Tyranitar. Okay. If you protect Malamar, your Tyranitar has to take two of these. So... Choose what happens. Helping Hand Darts should take out Malamar if you don't protect it, and if you do protect it, Tyranitar... I don't know, it'll be close. It might go down. 100 power, Terra boosted, Helping Hand boosted, Choice banned. Tyranitar's beefy though. I don't know. Okay, they're finally pulling out a Terra. Don't know what it could be. Steel or Fairy is the only thing that really affects anything. Flying? I don't get it. I don't get that at all. Unless you're using Terra Blast, but I don't know why you would need to. Dark moves work just fine on both of these guys. Malamar protected! Okay, we get to see the damage into Tyranitar then. I'm excited. Show me an Oko! Yeah! We got him! No berry. Get out of here. Well, I guess technically a Tuko. Ooh, and now they don't have Terra. Yeah, they, there's nothing they can do. I don't think Malamar even gets Sucker Punch. Not that it would KO. Yeah, plus one. Maybe, but no. I think even a plus one King Gambit doesn't KO, so. Helping Hand. Dragon Darts. GG. Really made it, really made up for that uh, six pot bombs, huh? <laughs> uh, go get a trainer card. Alright, we've got a, oh, very cool team. Indeedy Female, Gardevoir, 
Garchomp, Gyarados, Sneasler, Mousehold. I would guess Offensive Mousehold, but I can't really tell. They don't seem to have weather control. Pelly seems nice. The only problem would be like expanding for Scarf Gardevoir would be kind of scary. I guess we have a dark type for that though. Sneasler doesn't really like our Dragapult. Our Dragapult really doesn't like their Gardevoir. Our Chaladon, I don't love. All right, yeah, I think I'm going to go Rain Squad, Pult. Oh. I guess there's an argument to be made for Pop Bombing, especially because we're Terra Ghost. But if we just get Scarf Expanding Forced, could be bad. But then even with Icy Wind, I don't think we're... Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Alright. Do they have a trainer card? They do not have a trainer card. I don't, know, I don't know why I'm focusing on that Gardevoir as being so scary. Sneasler Garchomp. Okay, those are scary Pokemon. That's what I should have been afraid of. It's both of these. Uh, I'm a little worried about a fake out. Garchomp shouldn't be able to take out Pelipper. I think I'm more worried about Sneasler, so I think I want to. But what do I want to lock into? Weather Ball or Hurricane? Hurricane hits everything. Weather Ball's a little stronger against most. I think Weather Ball's probably enough to take out Sneasler anyway, so I'm gonna Weather Ball. I'm also gonna Icy Wind. Garchomp just protects. Okay, so I doubled into the correct slot. I don't think Protect Fake Out makes any sense. The problem is, I think... No, Pelipper should be faster than a Sneasler at minus one. They could be whiter, though. That's not unheard of. Nope, they're not. Let's see, Weather Ball. Oko? Oko! I love Specs, Pelly. <laughs> Ooh, Poliwhirl. Let's go. We can now Encore them into Protect and Weather Ball whatever comes in. Hello, indeed. Oh, we can't necessarily Encore them. We could get redirected. But, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Weather Ball the Indeedee. Encore Garchomp. At least try. They're going to Terrastalize because they're afraid of Icy Wind. That doesn't mean they're not going to follow me, though. They're Terra Poison. But they're not Choice Band. I've seen Choice Band Terra Poison before with, like, Poison Jab. Okay, they just follow me. Which they're going to be forced to do next turn as well. The thing is, I don't think Icy Wind is that great. No, because... Oh, they do have Poison Jab. It's a two-shot on Pelipper. Okay. I would expect most Garchomps to be like clear amulet. Ooh, Icy Wind might knock out Indeedee. And then I can, what, bring in Dragapult or Overquill to take the Poison Jab? I like Overquill. And just Icy Wind to knock out Indeedee. If I, if I had seen a Life Orb on Garchomp, I would have been fine with Icy Wind Weather Ball here. But they could be, they're probably Clear Amulet, so the Icy Wind isn't going to get the speed drop. Yet you have to follow me, which is probably the right play anyway. This means I can knock you out. Alright, what was the Garchomp? I don't think we saw a speed drop. So it has to be Clear Amulet or Covert Cloak. And they don't switch targets and they don't switch moves. Overquill takes that breezily. And here's Gardevoir. Okay. Scarf Gardevoir. 
should be slower. We're at 114. I can Terra. I could just Encore the Garchomp into Poison Jab, actually. Yeah. I'll Poison Jab their Gardevoir. Encore Garchomp into Poison Jab, and then it can't threaten with a ground move. And we should be all set. Yep, we are faster. Even if there's Scarf, I think we would have been faster. Goodbye, Gardevoir. Not Sash. And then you locked into Poison Jab. I don't see how you're beating over Quill. I guess I'll have to reset Rain eventually. And they're gonna take out my Encore user. Uh, but yeah. Throat Chop. Plus... Guess I'll go for Hypnosis. Why not? Nothing to lose. Battle is just cancelled. Oh yeah. Does that get me into Master Ball? With Poliwhirl of all things? Go get a trainer card, by the way. Oh yeah, Poliwhirl. Let's go. Not the thing I expected to get in with, but I'll take it. And we are back. Poliwhirl of all things got me into Master Ball. I don't know how. I don't know why. I, I was playing a little bit more meta teams to try to climb, but this is the one that actually worked. But anyways, thank you so much Aquamoth for making this team, and thank you John Luke for requesting this team. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>